Hey, welcome to Michael's Genius on the YouTube channel. Um, sorry for my little setup. I can't find my 360 camera somewhere. So, just want to make this video because there's uh, a few people in different groups asking how I'm doing this and the performances. So, uh, so let's start with this. So, this is a U Green enclosure. Okay. So, this U Green enclosure uh, does NVMe. Uh, PC, uh, uh, PC Gen 4 and, no, 3 and 4. It doesn't do 5. Uh, it's been tested to do 5, but it kind of, it's really slow and sluggish. So it fits in. It's very easy. It snaps in. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't come out unless, you know, you hit the bottom part. You know, you can hit it as hard as you can, and it still doesn't come out. You have to physically push it through. So there you go. So anyways, so this is by Ugreen. This was like 18 bucks. Uh, this was not really about the review. The review was someone is asking for on their Mac Pro, which I have a Mac Pro as well. And I have a 2013, it has Thunderbolt, USB Cs, and all that. And I want something that does a multi. So I found this, which is an Oculus. I did try their other model which had a built-in fan but didn't have this media part and the built-in fan one uh it, it just kept revving very high and it needed so much power so i returned that one that one was a hundred and like sixty dollars this is like ninety dollars off amazon uh and as you can see it has all these ports uh usb 3 uh 3.1 usb c 3.1 uh, an audio port, which I haven't tested yet. I did try these uh, SD cards and uh, micro SD card because I have a 360 camera and there's over like close to a terabyte or like, oh, say like 800 gigabytes that I have and I transfer it and they go flawlessly fast. There is a catch. I will explain that to you in a moment. Uh, this has the, I don't know why it, oh, I moved the rubber grommet on the wrong side. That's why you can't see it. So... This one has Ethernet, has HDMI. What version? I have no idea. This is just for testing that I will use it for. I won't use it for like a permanent thing. There's your PC and there's your power delivery. So, and then the NVMe in here supports M and B and M key. So there's a little notch right up here. Try to take it out. There you go. And it's just a cheap NVMe. This is a two terabyte. I probably spent like 60 bucks for it or something a couple years ago. And it's been working flawless and it's always been great. So, but what's cool is that I formatted this NVMe, this two terabyte into like five different partitions. So when I connect it to a Mac, you see like five different partitions pops up for like bootable uh, Mac Live, et cetera, et cetera. Again, not point of this video. And then I also have a partition for Microsoft. So uh, it has an XFAT. So it can read that too. So that's awesome. Okay, so... People are using their Mac Pro 2013, trying to expand their Thunderbolt um, 2 port because there's so many of them, but there's not so many Thunderbolt 2 products out there anymore because now we're at Thunderbolt 4 and 3 slash 4. So I have a dock right here, which is a call digit. Uh, it stays here all the time and it plugs to my MacBook Pros as well as well as the uh, Mac Pro, which is hiding all the way over there. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of shiny. Um, so uh, I want the dock to stay here. I don't want to be taking it everywhere. So I found this, this is like 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks. Uh, so far it's been very good. I've only had it for about two months and it's been very, very good. Uh, I was going to return this in exchange for this, but now I'm going to keep this because I have like so many NVMEs and plus this opening up so easy, I can take it out of the, someone's laptop, pop it in here, take out their data, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So it, it, it's like very, very easy. Uh, and it's very easy because right here, there's a, there's a rum or grommet. So this rum or grommet, you just turn it, that's it. There's no screwing, unscrewing, whatever the case is. All right, so this product came with a cable as they all do, okay? So it came with, <clears throat> hmm, where the fuck that cable is? All right, came with this cable. It shows Thunderbolt 3, shows Thunderbolt 3, USB to USB-C. Now the data transfer on this 
with this U Green that it came with was uh, slow. So I started using their, their other cable, which is a USB where I can find it. Here it is. So this one here is a USB-C to USB-C uh, to USB. I plug this into the Mac Pro and with this, my data transfer rate is close to 2000 out of just using this cable. But if I use the original cable that came with, which is Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, USB-C, then I only get close to like 400 megabits on the same exact drive, which is crazy. So it has to be the cable. So I don't use this cable anymore. So then what I found out when I bought this, this came with a cable. And that cable is, where is it? Yeah. Here it is. It came with this cable, which looks kind of like an Xbox because it's shaped like that, but it's this is not an Xbox. So it's just a USB. So this cable here, USB, USB, C, came with this device. And again, it was slow as shit. And I was ready to return it. I was like, God damn it. I'm, I just got this and I'm going to return it. So then what I did is I just played around because I ran into this like years ago. I ran into this. And what I did is I went online on Amazon, bought a USB-C, USB-C. This is an old OWC cable. Yeah, this is a bit more expensive. It's like a $30, $40 cable. Uh, it's very small. It's like one foot. And uh, so it says it's Thunderbolt uh, 4. It says it right there, 4. Uh, it's an OWC Thunderbolt 4 cable. Now, when I plug this in here, using this device, the NVMe that's in here, the original one, the inland that you saw, I get close to 2,000 megabits per second. Whereas this one, I get close to like 1,500 or 1,000. So still, the cable is, 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 is the key. So don't use the original cable that comes with the product unless you see the big performance, then use it. Okay, so I transfer data for a client <clears throat> on this Thunderbolt OWC cable from their Windows computer to this. And I have this on several different partitions. I have like five partitions for Mac. So there, it can do Mac bootable live and uh, installs. And then I also have a partition for Microsoft, um, you know, to do data transfers and so forth. Um, and I did it on this. Through the Windows computer, I transferred 468 gigabytes from that client's computer. She's a graphic designer. 468 gigabytes to this using this cable, this OWC cable, and it transferred it in about 15 minutes, which is awesome. Great. Loved it. I was like freaking amazed. Now, I went to using their original cable that came that was... Thunderbolt 3, which came with the device, and this would take, the 468 gigabytes would take uh, close to 14 hours. So I was like, nah, that's probably wrong. So I let it sit on the computer for a while, and it still took 14 to 15 hours to do 468 gigabytes. I was so freaking upset. Thank goodness I had my old OBC cable, so that when I did it there, it was like, holy shit, it actually did it within like minutes. Um, then, so for those people that are trying to connect it to their computer and they don't have USB-C, like this Mac Pro here, only has uh, USB uh, and USB 2, I think it is, and it has Thunderbolt. Well, I would love to have a Thunderbolt to USB-C, but that cable doesn't exist. And there's no gender changer for that either that exists. And the reason why is Thunderbolt 2 does not provide power. So you're kind of SOL, whereas the new the Thunderbolt two, no Thunderbolt three and four require puts power through the, the cable. So Thunder uh, Thunderbolt two does not. So when you connect this to a Thunderbolt two, there's no power. It doesn't pop up. Doesn't get mounted. Doesn't nothing. Uh, you can try different cables. Still doesn't do anything. Uh, you can try different cables and it still doesn't do anything. But then when you plug it into a USB, then boom, you got power right away. So I, I, I do recommend this product. Um, 
But what I do is now with the USB-C is that I have this gender changer, which is just USB to uh, USB-C. And I plug this in to the OWC cable. When I plug it there, and then this is plugged into here, and then this plugs into the computer, then I'm getting that 468 gigabytes to transfer within about 15 minutes, which is totally awesome and I love it and I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's very small, as you can see, the size of my hand or so. Uh, does it heat up? People on YouTube, well, actually, correction, you know what? On YouTube, I only found two videos that talk about this. So I guess I'll be the third one because no one else bought this, which is weird. But again, it said this device says it supports up to up to 10 gigabits per second. Now, there is another one by Akasis, but it doesn't have all these media ports. It's just the drive. It's just this part right here. So all this is chopped off. And it that one was uh, like $180, $190, and that one did uh, up to 40 gigabits per second. Now, some people swear that it does that. Some people don't, but I think it's really the cable that matters that changes the difference. Because when I, like I said, with the original cable with this, it was super slow. And I was ready to return it. That's why I bought this one, and then I was going to return this. But then when I tried a different cable and I bought that old WC cable, which is here. And it just flew by. It was like, well, we're, it, it's like you buying an HDMI cable out there and it's like, oh yeah, it supports 18K resolution or something, but it doesn't and it's cheapest quality of shit. But they charge you 50 bucks for it. But then if you buy like a name brand, like Monster or some other brand, then it works like flawless. So there's another cable I did buy this small little one it's a thunderbolt 4 i was just thinking oh okay can i achieve the 10 gigabits per second on this now the mvme that's in here it is a gen 4 and uh a gen 4 supports up to 5 gigabits per second uh this supports up this hardware supports up to 10 gigabits so technically you would think this would work but uh yeah it doesn't so again the it's the cable restriction. Uh, this gave me the 468 gigabytes that I did the transfer on, and it was way slower than the standard uh, OWC cable that I used, and it worked this way. So this cable, uh, which was like 30, 40 bucks, was well worth it, whereas this cable says Thunderbolt 4, but it's probably not really Thunderbolt 4. It's probably like just fucking uh, Thunderbolt, I don't know. Maybe it's just USB. But uh, according to the box, it's Thunderbolt 4, but it doesn't perform like a Thunderbolt 4, like it should be. All right, well, hopefully that helps you out in figuring out on this product. This product is very good. Uh, I normally don't do too many reviews, but uh, I do love this very much. It's very useful. Came in as an rescue the other day and transferring that data. I was going to transfer it on my old NVMe, which is right over here. I bought it from Micro Center years ago. I just put my decal on it. Um, so this one's a Sabrent. And uh, this one here does, oh, actually only supports uh, key, um, what is it, what key is it? B and M only. Okay, yeah, it does different sizes, but I rarely I ever get the different sizes. Uh, this controller on the box, it says it does up to five gigabits, but even with a Gen 4 in it, uh, which this Gen 4 is a B&M, which will fit perfect in here. Um, the transfer speed is still slow as hell. So here is slow as hell, and it could be just because the controller. So it says it does 5 gigabits, but I only get close to like 800 megabits on the same NVMe that's out of here. Uh, here, I'm getting close to the 2,000 to 3,000. Uh, so it's really great. All right. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down to the comments down below. Um, sorry for this video to be kind of weird in the shape. Normally it's a bigger screen and all this other shit. Um, it's just a lot of people are asking and I thought I'd try to put it out there as soon as possible. Oh, you know what? Let me throw this one in here. So this is an Asus, Asus ROG. This says it supports up to five gigabits. 
I'll put a review out there, but I'll tell you right now, it does not do shit. The reason why this requires power, but it also has built-in LEDs. So that requires additional power from the power just to use, use the enclosure. So now uh, you need something even stronger. So, and then this one is USB-C also, uh, no, it's just USB-C, it's not Thunderbolt. But I do like this because it's really hard and it's great. But liking this, this is only $18 on Amazon. All right, I'll put the links down below. Take it easy.